this is Jeff from Fresh Luck. So even though we still have like six weeks from now, Thanksgiving is really just around the corner and we need to prepare for it, right? That's a big meal and it's my favorite, favorite meal of the entire year. So I'm gonna take an existing meal that I already have in the Instant Pot and I'm gonna really kick it up a notch. I'm gonna take the mac and cheese and I'm going to add some amazing liquid smoke glazed duck to it. Yes, we are talking quack quack mac. Now don't think me a quack for making something this amazing because duck and macaroni and cheese goes perfectly together and if we're already having turkey on the table, why not have a little bit of a side with some duck in it? After all, duck is some of the most succulent, tender bird you'll ever, ever have. So guys, it's crazy easy how this one works. You're gonna see it's a simultaneous preparation thing. Let's make it right in the Instant Pot some quack quack mac. Quack 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 mac. Let's preheat our oven at 375 degrees. And then it all begins with some duck. I'm using between one to two pounds of it, or a half duck. I got this at Costco. This actually comes with an orange sauce packet, which I'm not going to use for this. I can save it for something later, but it's not going to, in my opinion, be a great combination to have an orange duck and a mac and cheese that's gouda based. So what we're going to do is we're going to just basically make a glaze for this and then brush it on. And I've laid my duck onto a foil lined baking sheet. And as you can see, this duck is also fully cooked beforehand, FYI. So all I'm going to have to do is when I put the marinade on there, is throw it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 375. So now I'm gonna make our smoky glaze for the duck. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of salted butter, melted. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of a light brown sugar, two tablespoons of a low sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of ketchup, a teaspoon of crushed garlic, and here's our secret ingredient to our duck tasting nice and smoky, liquid smoke. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that in there. And now just mix it up well until it's all combined. All right, and our glaze is done. And now let's brush it onto our duck. So now let's brush on our delicious liquid smoke glaze all over our duck on both sides. And this is the other side. Right? And you get really every nook and cranny of that duck and then just flip it over again so we have it, so it's you know natural side up with the bone facing up. And now repeat with the other piece of duck. And perfect, there we go. Now let's pop it into our oven. And now let's open our oven and then pop our duck in there and cook it for 10 minutes on one side and then 10 on the other. In the meantime, while our duck is cooking in the oven, let's make our macaroni and cheese in the instant. So we're gonna start with two and a half cups of a cavatappi or salantani pasta. That's like a macaroni, but like with curls, you know? I'm adding two cups of chicken broth, one cup of water, a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese, and two tablespoons or a quarter of a stick of salted butter. And then just give everything a stir so our cheese is sort of mixed in with our broth and our water. And make sure that all of our macaroni is kind of just submerged and maybe just ever so slightly iceberging a little bit over the water, just like that. And now let's put our lid on top. All right, make sure we're in sealing position. We'll come down here and hit manual and we're just gonna go for six minutes in high pressure, but that's it our cheese. I'm going to use eight ounces of a smoked Gruyere and eight ounces of a smoked Gouda. Now you can use really whatever cheese you want, but I would suggest you use 16 ounces worth and I would at least use at least some Gouda if possible. It's really going to be phenomenal for this. But this is the route I'm going and I'm going to shred it up and then just set that aside. And then after 10 minutes, let's take our duck out of here and give it a flip over and then pop it back in for another eight to 10 minutes. It's already looking and smelling amazing. Alright, let's flip this one over, and then do the same to this guy over here. Alright, perfect, and let's pop it back into the oven for another 8 to 10 minutes. There you go, and be right back. Alright, let's click release. It's perfect timing because our duck is now finished. As we're quick releasing, let's get it out of there. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Let's let this cool for a few. And our pin just dropped, so let's take our lid off, and perfection. And now let's mix up our delicious and perfectly cooked noodles. And we actually want some liquid still in there, so leave it in there. So the next step is going to be to add all of our cheese. And do it in some batches and then mix it in. And I'm using a wooden spoon for this. Okay, and add some more cheese. All right, and... Doing this until we put all of our cheese in there and mix it all up. Get that all mixed up with our noodles and melded into whatever liquid's left in the pot. And then you're gonna see it's gonna become an incredibly, wonderfully thick and creamy mac and cheese, especially because we're about to put our next ingredient in there. 
and that would be two ounces or a quarter of a brick of cream cheese that I've cubed up and now we're going to mix it up inside with all of our cheese until it melds and blends in completely. If you want it extra thick, add four ounces or a half a brick of cream cheese to it. I mean, is your mouth watering yet? Look at this. Unbelievably creamy, rich, delicious, smoked Gouda, smoked Gruyere mac and cheese. Okay, now a couple more things to add in. And this is optional, but it really adds even more flavor. And if you hate mustard, I promise you, you won't even taste it. One teaspoon of a plain yellow mustard. And for a little kick, about a teaspoon of hot sauce. Totally optional, but I like it in there. And then add a slight dash. I'm talking like a little drop or two of the liquid smoke to it as well. And let's stir that in and mix it up. Okay, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Ah, I can't handle it. All right, so let's let our deliciously creamy macaroni and cheese rest over there while we go to our duck, which I've transferred to a cutting board. Now, you have the option here, guys. We're gonna cut this up, but to leave some of the skin on there, I personally love leaving some of it on there, and we're going to, when we cut it up, we're just gonna put it right back into the pot with the macaroni and cheese and mix it up. So let's slice it all up. Mm. Perfect. It's beautiful, guys. So what we're just going to continue to do is chop up all of our duck as much as we want to put, make it into pieces that are about this big, a little bit smaller. You can even rip it up by hand if you want. That's pretty much what I did. And I did add, I confess, some of the duck fat in there because I really, really love that skin in there. So it's almost like a foie gras, but it's going to have that amazing smoky flavor. Let's add this into our mac and cheese. And now let's incorporate everything together and give it a good stir and make this a true quack quack mac. And there we go guys, all of our duck and all of our macaroni and cheese are now combined and mixed together and it is so incredibly ooey and gooey and cheesy and ducky. This has become one of my newest obsessions and it's going to make one heck of a Thanksgiving side. And let's get a nice shot of that delicious quack quack mac, all that delicious duck that has that smoky flavor, mix it with the smoky gouda and gruyere cheeses. It's time to get my Donald Duck on. It is time! All right, let's get a nice big piece of duck in there along with some macaroni first. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. I love duck. I love it. Mm. Duck is like the most tender bird you can ever eat. It is insane. It's so soft and, and the skin, oh, it's a whole other indulgence. Oh, it is insanely thick and gooey. Look at this mac and cheese. Oh, come to me. The flavor is unreal. That smoked Gouda and smoked Gruyere combo and cheese, I'm telling you, perfection. The duck that with that glaze that was put on top of it and then baked in the oven mixed in with this mac and cheese just sets it over the edge. Well, I know it's going to be going on my Thanksgiving table this year for a side. Guys, if you enjoy these easy to follow videos and you want a simple written recipe to go along with it with step-by-step -step photos, go to PressureLuckCooking.com. Tons of recipes there. Hover over any photo, pin it to any board. If you want to follow me on Facebook or like me there, please do. You get many, many updates as to when new recipes are dropping. Uh, I have Instagram. I have Twitter. I have Pinterest. Twitter, I am at Pressure Luck, so follow me there to learn about every new recipe that drops. Thank you so much again for all your support, and I feel like one lucky ducky. Mm.